Hello, and this is going to be our Android demonstration. So, the first thing that I did was I installed Java. I'm starting with an absolutely fresh Windows system. And um, I went to java.com, uh, java.sun.com, and the place to download this, I'll hide this, I didn't do it because it just takes too long. Is Java J2SE, and I got the Java development kit, this one right here, and I downloaded that one, and I will stop here. Sure, I want to display that stuff. You just have to accept the license and then download this Windows full version. I did the offline installation, and that is what produced this file, which I've already downloaded. The next thing that I had to do was I had to go to Eclipse.org, sure, and then I downloaded Eclipse, and I downloaded this particular one, the Europa Eclipse for Windows, and that produced this zip file, which I unzipped, and I have a directory called Eclipse, and I have an application called Eclipse, which I will now start. And I will say, OK. So there is Eclipse. We'll leave that for the moment. And then the next place that we go, oops, that's for later. Goodbye. The next place that we go is downloading the Android SDK. And I downloaded this particular file, the SDK, Android SDK. And that created this zip right here. And then I unzip that to produce this file right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up at the installing the SDK for Android. Now basically, let's just get clear what this is. Um, this is making it so that you effectively have the Android emulator. OK, so here we go. We have Eclipse. We have the JDK, and we're ready to go. So, doo -doo 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 -doo, installing the JDK, SDK. OK. So we've downloaded it. Let's make this a little bigger. A little bigger. OK. So note the name and location of the unpacked SDK director on our system. We're going to refer to it later. Um, I'm going to make my life really, really simple. And I'm going to stick this in a place that I will absolutely always remember in my C drive. And I'm just going to drag this little fella right here. And I'm going to rename him Android. Come on. D-R-O-I-D. So I'm going to be in C colon backslash Android is where I'm going to put this so that I just have it always available. Okay, so let's go back to the installer extra instructions. Um, on Windows, click on My Computer, select Properties, and we need the Tools directory to our path. So the Tools directory, come to Daddy, is this directory right here. C colon backslash Android slash tools. That's got the emulator. And so you go to my computer and you do manage. No, you don't do manage, you do properties. Properties. Uh, advanced. Oh, where am I supposed to go? Help me, help me, SDK. Properties, advanced tab, environment variables. Ah, boy, I'm so, I'm half asleep here. Advanced. Environment variables, yeah, there it is, of course. 
Okay, and so in the path, I'm going to edit the path. I'm going to edit this, and at the end of it, I'm going to type semicolon, C colon, backslash, Android, slash tools, slash. So C colon, backslash, Android, slash tools. Okay. And then I'm just going to say OK with that, and I'm going to do a quick test. I'm going to do, I'm going to do, let's go away. I'm going to do start, run, command, and I'm going to say in here, just for fun, I'm going to say emulator, because that is a piece of code that is sitting right here in this directory. And Yes, I'll send statistics. Go ahead. Okay, so this starts up a bunch of things, but the essence is is that the Android emulator is up and running. And so the key is is that my path is right because I can now type emulator. And I think I can type control C to say goodbye. And the fact that I can type emulator in a command window means that the emulator is sitting there just peachy keen happy happy happiness, okay? So I'll close this, I will close this, and away we go. And so we've installed it. So now we're going to install the Eclipse plugin. So we're going to do um, help, and then I'm going to copy this guy here for the Android thing. Help, software updates, find and install. Help, help, software updates, find and install. Search for new features. Search for new features. New remote site. Just want to get this right. New remote site. Okay. So then I, it's already selected. I'm going to include Android and um, let's say finish. And it's asking, do I want to install the Android plugin? And I say, yes, I would like to do that. And I indeed accept the terms of the license agreement and say next. And then I say finish. Now it's downloading a whole bunch of stuff. Do you want to say install all? It is recommended that I restart? Sure, I'm happy to restart. And I'll start that up. The next thing we've got to do is get our uh, preferences and enter the SDK location. No, I don't want any updates. Workspace launcher, sure, that's looking good. And so the thing we've got to do is we've got to go into preferences. And we've got to find the Android preference, and we've got to switch this. Now, I've already done this once, so I'll just show you what you've got to do. You've got to go into your local drive. You've got to see Android. You've got to select that directory, and that's the one you want. And it's kind of picky. It only will let you um, do the one that uh, works for you. So now let's go ahead and make our first application. We're going to make a new project, and lo and behold, we have an Android project. I'm going to call my project first org.chuck first and then finish and so we take a look and we got some Java source and we're not going to do too much programming we're just going to go in and hack in and change a string we're going to go into layout the main layout it's an XML file that we're going to just take a look at we don't really have to see the XML we're going to change this to say hello Dr. Chuck and then we're going to save this file Oop, come back. File, save. So we're all saved. Then what we're going to do is highlight this and say run as, open the run, di open the run dialog, and then pick first, and it 
knows to start the emulator. Now sometimes it turns out the emulator doesn't get the new application properly downloaded every single time, but uh, so it's starting up now. And it's kind of loading itself. And there we are, our nice little Android application. And it says, hello, Dr. Chuck. And if you, you know, go home, look, that's the menu button. If we go home, we can sort of see the rest of it. OK, and that's the application. And downloads to here as well. Hello, Dr. Chuck. OK, so let's do another one. We'll just leave the emulator running. And let's make another one. And that is new project an Android project. This time we're going to create it from existing source and we're going to find where we put Android. Go into samples and take the lunar lander and we'll say finish and I've done this before so it's kind of unhappy. So I find there and there's source so we're not going to even go into this source but I'll decide to run lunarlander.java and I'll say open run dialog and I will pick lunarlander.java and I'll say that's what I'm going to run and if I switch back it has been downloaded into my little modulator thing and here we go I'm going to get lucky on this one I think Whoa. off the landing pad and so there is our little lunar lander Goodbye. I, I guess I'm going to lose later. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you, and that is just how to get it installed. And um, oh, it's going to crash now. What's happened? Oh, okay. Show you how to install it and uh, run a few simple applications, and then we'll get to uh, actually making some code modifications in the next one. Okay, thanks.